when I was young, I was always very athletic, you know, swimming, karate, baseball, football, whatever sport there is, you name it, I was in it. And one day while I was in weights, I was training, I went across, across the hallway to the boxing room with my father and I put the gloves on and since then I didn't take it off. It's a beautiful sport, I loved it. My family there, at first they wasn't really, you know, into it. They were like, you know, it was another thing for you to do. It wasn't nothing like a surprise to them. I used to always fight a lot, so it was like, all right, at least she does it in the gym instead of in the street. But then, you know, after a while they saw I took it seriously and they were real, real supportive. My friends, they thought it was cool. They liked it. A few of them even tried it. My boyfriend is real supportive. He goes to see me practice. He goes to my fights and everything, so I'm happy. Everybody's supportive of me. I wasn't really a bad child, but, you know, I did get into a few fights in school and in the street. And that's probably one thing that, you know, gave me advantage in the sport. Um, I wasn't really looking for trouble, but I do admit I did a few things that were a little arrogant. <laughs> but it's better that I did it then than now. The workout is usually the same. Every time I have a fight, I have to step it up. You know, do twice as much training, run, a, like more, you know, swim, just try to switch it up so I don't get bored of it. And then again, that I do something different, like use different muscles or do different activities for my body. When I first started boxing, I was the only female in the gym, and it was kind of hard because the guys were like, oh, there's a girl in the gym and everything, and she's not going to stay. But then they saw that, you know, I stuck it out. I stood, even though there was nobody, no trainers wanted a female and nobody wanted a beginner. So I just stood there and they saw, you know, they started to respect my my ambition, like to keep coming. And, you know, after a while they lightened up. Oh, yo, what's up? How you doing? Some of them would give me little pointers and it would help me. And then people started to recognize, you know, this girl's good. So. It got better after a while. <laughs> it was always an issue in the sports, especially like with baseball and everything, because I was a female. But after a while, they always lining up. Well, my trainers, they're just like another part of my family. They all have boxing experience. They know what I go through. And they know how like the sacrifices and the pain that goes through it and the stress and the drama. But they're all family to me. Jay Courtright, that's my everything, you know. He's always there for me no matter what. He always makes sure I'm okay. That's like another one of my fathers. He's like, sometimes he's a little overprotective, but I know it's in the best interest. He makes sure I'm always on point. Al, I know him since so long. I have a bond with him. He's real cool. Hyman, Hyman Stewart, he's so, he's like my best friend. His three sons box too, he used to box. They all like my friends, my family, my trainers. They always make sure I have to do what I have to do. It's hard to get a bond with your trainer. There's a lot of people that are jealous of the bond I have with my trainer. But to have it with all three is unbelievable. It's the best team. That's why I think I'm st I'm so good right now because it's not only me. It's them putting in the effort with it. Um, most people, when they get too much attention, it goes to their head. They don't think the same way. Just because, you know, I win a few fights and there's a few articles written up on me, I still have to do what I have to do. I have to train every day. I have to stick to my diet. I have to stay in the same routine. Because if it wasn't for what I was doing before, I would not have what I have now. So if I keep on with it, I'll be even better. This is what blesses us, that we appreciate what we have. For the team effort that we have, there's no stopping. No stopping us now. Bird on the horizon, sitting on a fence.